Miss Bridget. I witnessed a murder. Just get up on the stand. Tell the judge what you saw, and we'll protect you. You don't get it. Bottaway wants me dead. I'm dead. I ran to my sister, Siobhan, for help. Siobhan! Siobhan! Siobhan killed herself, and I assumed her identity. It was so easy if I saw a way out, and I took it. They all think that I'm her. Her husband. It's Gemma. She's missing. Her lover. Your wife knows about us. She knows about the affair, the baby, her best friend. I would like to report someone missing. Gemma Butler. I think she was the victim of foul play. And I can tell you where to find the evidence to prove it. I caught a potential missing persons case today and found some fingerprints that might be of interest to you. How do you figure? I'm assuming the name Bridget Kelly rings a bell. Okay, here we go. Stay on him, okay? Come on, you go. Over here, over here. Do you know where your wife is, Mr. Butler? Mr. Butler, when's the last time you saw her? It's been over 48 hours since Jimmy went missing. Do you think her wife is still alive? Has there been a request for ransom? Is it true your wife thinks you're having an affair, Mr. Butler? Can you confirm rumors that you're filing for divorce? You people just back off. Did you have anything to do with your wife's disappearance, Mr. Butler? Mr. Butler. Whoever did this, I want my wife back. Are you a suspect? What are the police questioning you about, Mr. Butler? Mr. Butler, what really happened to your wife? Siobhan, come on. You're stressing yourself out. It's not good for the baby. Sorry. It's hard not to watch. The press have publicly indicted Henry. He's not even a suspect. It's unbelievable. I know. Do you know anyone we could hire? Like a private investigator? Well, you don't think the police are doing a good job? No, I, I'm sure they are. But just think about how many people go missing every year and are never found. Well, that's not going to happen. Gemma's father is one of the most powerful men in the city. We have to trust that the cops are on it. I uh, spoke with Henry this morning. He wants to know if we're going to the art pavilion opening. Is he going? Well, he said he felt he didn't have a choice. It took Gemma over two years to oversee the construction of the building and to design it. He wants to honor his wife. He doesn't realize that the whole point of the evening will be completely overshadowed. Dad? Yes, they just got here. Thank you. Really, Juliet? Oh, thanks a lot, Dad. They're not here for me. Just a few questions, Mrs. Martin. We believe you have vital information regarding Gemma Butler's disappearance. Did you find Gemma? Juliet, you should get ready for school. We can... Speak in the living room. Yeah, actually, we'd prefer to do this down at the precinct. Is that necessary? We've identified a suspect in connection to Mrs. Butler's disappearance. The case is now a joint investigation with the NYPD and the FBI. Well, this is a federal case. I know that you have a lot of questions, Mr. Martin. If your wife comes with us, I hope we'll all get some answers. I'll just get my purse. The phones don't work down at the precinct? I'm sorry? Well, you could have phoned my wife and requested her to come in. What's with a personal escort? <laughs> it's a courtesy, Mr. Martin. My wife's pregnant. And she's been through a lot these past days. This had better be brief. It's Bridget. I'm not sure what to say or how to explain, but I think I really messed up this time. Just a sec. Detective Saldana. Daddy, can I spend the weekend with Monica? Doesn't Monica live in Connecticut? Stanford's only an hour away, and her mom's gonna be in the city so she can pick me up after school. I won't do anything wrong, I promise. You already banned me from seeing Erica. Can I at least have one friend? Nobody's saying you can't have any friends. Daddy, come on, you know Monica's parents. They'll be there the whole weekend. Okay, fine. Just have the Reynolds call me, will you? 
Hey, I can come. What do I bring? Mr. Martin. I've just been told our investigators would like to ask you some questions as well. Why? Apparently, the last phone call Jim Butler made before she went missing was to your husband. how important it is for you to protect Bridget Kelly, but my priority is finding Jim Abbott. Oh, come on, Sandana. You can't release Bridget's name or even a photo to the press. What? Look, at this point, all I'd confirm is that we have a suspect. If Bottaway McCowie believes that Bridget Kelly's right here in New York, he'll make sure someone takes care of her. And I wouldn't put it past him to come here and do it himself. Bridget Kelly's sister is Gemma Butler's best friend. Okay, just trust me. Okay, we're working toward the same goal, right? you coming down here. Mrs. Martin. You look a little nervous. Can I get you anything? You want some water? Coffee? Aspirin? Let's just get this over with. Mr. Martin, do you know who this is? Identify the woman in that photo. Bridget, Bridget Kelly. Kelly. But you never actually met Bridget Kelly. No, Siobhan just told me about her. Her name is Bridget. How could you not tell me that you have a twin? I didn't tell anyone. I'm not just anyone, Siobhan. I'm your husband. I, I know, and I wanted to tell you. I, I just... But it never came up. In the five years of our marriage, you couldn't find the right moment. Hey, Daddy. Um, I was wondering if... Oh, sorry. I didn't realize you two were bonding. I'll talk to you later. Wait a moment, Julia. Andrew, please. She's our daughter. She should know. Siobhan has a twin sister. Oh, God. There's two of them? I know this is hard to understand. Okay, but this was a part of my life that I wanted to forget. I wanted to pretend that she didn't exist. I know it was wrong. So what, what did she do that was so awful? Bridget was always in trouble. She abused drugs. She couldn't keep a job. I was always cleaning up her messes. She never thought about the consequences until it was too late. Why didn't you think you could share this with me? It wasn't about that, Andrew. Bridget represented a part of my life that I thought was over. I never thought I would see her again. Well, then why are you telling me now? Bridget was supposed to testify in a murder trial. She showed up on my doorstep. I, I took her in, but she bolted. The FBI contacted me. They think that she might somehow be involved in Gemma's disappearance. What? I don't understand it either. But I, I didn't want you caught off guard if the police talked to you. Uh, please, say something. I, I don't understand. Why would she hurt Gemma? She's an addict. Maybe she needed the money. I don't know. It's impossible to understand that kind of behavior. That's all. Okay, let, let's just start from the beginning. Okay, just take me back to the Hamptons. September 9th, you... Got a sec? Yeah, excuse me. It's interesting. Your husband and Mr. Butler knew exactly who Bridget Kelly was. And I thought you were keeping your sister a secret. 
hard keeping anything a secret with you guys around. Well, you got anything else you'd like to volunteer? My sister's not in New York anymore. Hey, it's Bridget. I'm not sure what to say or how to explain, but... I think I really messed up this time. And I don't think there's anything you can do to fix it. I have to leave New York. I was thinking maybe Europe. We always used to talk about going there. Anyway, I, um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry and goodbye. She left it this morning. I tried calling the number back, but it's blocked. Man. The message was left at 8.15 a.m. That's just shortly after Detective Saldana came to get you. So? So how can I be sure that you weren't helping Bridget, telling her to get out of town? I assure you, Agent Machado, my talking to you doesn't help my sister. What did Bridget mean by, I, I really messed up big this time? I don't know. What's your sister's relationship to Gemma Butler? I don't know. We have evidence connecting Bridget to Gemma's disappearance. I can put her in the Butler home, and you have no idea how your sister and your best friend know each other? The only connection that I'm aware of is a conversation you had with Gemma about my sister. Do you even care that your best friend's missing, Mrs. Martin, and that your sister's involved? What kind of question is convenient. that? No, you tell me. Lover's wife, out of the picture, and troublemaker sister on the run. We're done here. Henry, you doing okay? I just want to go home. Car's downstairs. Mrs. Martin, just one more thing. It's about Malcolm Ward. <sighs> I just meet you downstairs. I'll be in the car. I know you've been in contact with Mr. Ward. Well, he called me a few times. He was concerned about Bridget. Well, now there's reason to be concerned about him. He's missing. Your sister calls again, let her know. Okay, I know it's long shot, but that news might get her to come back and testify. By the way, he was looking for Bridget, and he thought Malcolm had the answer, and if he didn't... You think he might be dead? I don't know. All I know is there were signs of foul play. The number you have reached is not in service at this time, and there is no new number. The number you have reached is not in service at this time. some food. All right. We'll be at the spot soon. What about him? He's high. Just leave him.
They asked me a lot of questions about your sister. Questions I couldn't answer. Who's Malcolm Ward? Malcolm is my sister's NA sponsor. Please tell me you didn't bake. Hey, I'm trying to celebrate, not kill you. Bakery up the street. <sighs> What'd you wish for? I didn't. It's not my birthday. You're three months over. That deserves a wish. And I wish to keep this up for a very long time. You will. Thanks to you. Can I get another wish? Sure. I wish you never leave. <laughs> Where am I going? I don't know. People leave all the time. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm not going to for you. Bridge. We can't. I know. I channel all the past, all the good shit. So that's how you know about Juliet. Because Bridget's an addict. How bad was it? Your sister's drug problem? There were times I didn't think she'd make it through. I read about Bridget online. She witnessed a friend being strangled in a strip club. Was gonna testify, but ran. What sort of people was she mixed up with? Are we safe, Siobhan? Is Juliet safe? She left the country. So she says. You haven't seen her in, what, six years? She's an addict. A prostitute. How do you know she's telling the truth? And you said yourself that you didn't understand the way she was behaving. I'm not sure you really know what she's capable of. She's gone. What difference does it make? She can't hurt us anymore. Doesn't forgive the fact that you weren't honest with me. What about our uh, promise? No more secrets. I told you the truth. Only because you had to. I'm gonna call Juliet. Starting to regret letting her go away for the weekend. It was a mistake. It was a mistake. <laughs> you know how I feel about you, right? But we crossed a line, and it can't happen again. It was my fault. It's mine. I, I want you to know I will be here for you in any other way. No matter what? No matter what. Throw back a fifth or hijack your stepdaughter's bomb. <sighs> no. And that's all I need to know. My best friend is missing. She's been gone two days. 
like gone gone or like she just got fed up and didn't tell anybody she went to the spa gone i wish that's all it was her name is Gemma butler have you read about it in the papers and it sounds familiar is she that architect yeah that article made it sound like her husband did it he didn't and i know that the cops are chasing the wrong suspect how do you know? Falls under the category of too many questions, right? You catch on quickly. <clears throat> okay. So, what can I do here? You are a cop, right? Uh-huh. I was hoping you could go to the precinct. Ask a buddy. Take a look at the evidence. <laughs> <clears throat> I can't just walk into a precinct and start playing detective. I mean, what am I going to tell him? Hey, guys, my friend, she really thinks you're barking up the wrong tree here, but, you know, she can't tell you what or who or how or when. I mean, I don't think so. Charlie, I came to you because I don't have anyone else that I can trust. Oh, you, you trust me? Yeah, okay. You haven't even given me your name yet. Siobhan Martin. I finally think we are making some progress. Siobhan Martin. You know, when I agreed to be your sponsor, I thought it was going to be a whole lot easier than this. So that's a yes? You'll help me? That's and I'll see what I can do. Shut up! Stop following me. Even if you don't lead us to Bridget, we're still gonna find her one way or the other. Not if I can help it. Did you find anything? Just that Bridget Kelly is the only suspect. And you are her twin sister. Is that why you're so hell-bent on trying to clear the suspect's name? Look, Siobhan, I want to help, all right? I took a peek into the case file. You know, the question is, where's Jim's car? Henry Butler didn't seem to know. You think there might be a clue on the car? It could be. Maybe somebody tried to hide it. Maybe that's where the attack started. The car could lead to something. What if I told you anywhere it was? How involved in this are you? Again, too many questions. OK. <laughs> JFK. Long-term parking. I'll get you the exact location. Just call me if you find anything. I will do. And Charlie, if I haven't said it already, thank you. You didn't. And you're welcome. Let's go. 
Let's get out of here. I think I can walk. Let me just get you outside and then we'll get a cab back to my place, okay? No, I have to get home. I have to get there before my dad gets back. Monica, you're drunk. You can't drive. No, it's okay. I'll just walk it off for a little while. You should just go back to my place and I'll have my dad's driver take us back to your apartment, okay? <sighs> Juliet, are you sick? No, my parents are gonna kill me. I have to take the car home that I came in. I know. Okay. <laughs> I'll get you home. All right. Gemma's opening's about to start. Ready to go? Are you sure you want to? Do you still seem upset? I'll be fine. I didn't tell you about Bridget because I was ashamed. That sucks to feel that way about your family. You don't have to feel ashamed. It's not like you did those things. It's different with twins. I don't know how to explain it. I, I always felt responsible for Bridget. I guess I was afraid that if I told you the truth, it, it would change the way you felt about me. Can't you give me a little more credit? I should have. I'm sorry. It, I know it's wrong. It's just sometimes it's easier to lie. Wait, you know what I mean? Andrew, no one tells the truth 100% of the time. Being honest, it makes you vulnerable. And that's scary. I'm sure there are things that you're not 100% honest with me about. I'd be lying if I said otherwise. Well, you don't have to. I promise you, I'll never judge. Well, even if they're awful. Mm. Yeah. When I found out you were pregnant, I was not happy. Really? We weren't in a good place. We weren't speaking, barely having sex anymore. And getting pregnant seemed like a complication. But I realize now that it was a blessing. This baby means everything to me, and that's why the lies hurt. I just don't want anything to go wrong ever again between us. I don't either. I've lost too much already. Yet. I don't want to lose you, too. I must have had a peculiar kind of charm For you to fall in love with me With my bird's nest hair on my arms I thought you'd never think of me Important. Hello. Yes, Mr. Carpenter. I know who you are. You're Juliet's English teacher. Listen, um, I'm calling about Juliet. Why? What's wrong? She's been in a car accident. Mr. Carpenter, where's my child? Where's Juliet? She's with Monica, but please, Mr. Martin, calm down. Juliet's fine. You're telling me to calm down after my child's been in the car accident. The cops said that they've been drinking, that it's a miracle they're unharmed, and I should stay calm? Well, I'm just trying to put this in perspective. What are you even doing here? No, no offense, you beat her teacher, what, a week? She called me. Said it was an emergency. But just so you know, I called you as soon as I got here. 
I'm gonna go. If you need anything else. No, we're good. Juliet. Oh, God. Are you okay? I'm okay, Dad. Are you sure you're not? I'm fine, here. I don't understand. Why were you driving? You only have a learner's permit. What were you even doing in this city? I spoke with Mrs. Reynolds, and she told me that you two would be in Stamford all weekend. There, there was a change of plans. It wasn't a big deal. Not a big deal? You were drinking and driving. I had two beers. It's not like I was doing coke. Oh, well, in that case... Dad, I, I don't know what you want me to tell you. Monica was totally trashed. She needed to get her car home. I, I, I was just trying to help, okay? Well, you were very helpful. So helpful, in fact, you almost got the both of you killed. This is exactly why I called Mr. C. All you ever do is get pissed off. I have every right to be pissed off between the drugs and the fighting and the getting thrown out of school. But this time, Juliet, I'm done. What are you gonna do? Put me up for adoption? No. No, because I know you'd actually enjoy that. I'm taking away your trust fund. No credit cards, no allowance. What? What's the only way to get through to you, Julian? Until you can start to prove that you're getting back on track. Really trying to get back on track. You're cut off. Now I'm gonna talk to Monica's father. I'm sorry, Juliet. You owe me, bitch. Like ten million dollars. What? You're a lucky man. You found Bridget? Mm, no. But a missing persons discovered a little activity on Malcolm Ward's bank card at an ATM right here in Manhattan. This is two hours ago. That's him. <laughs> That's Malcolm Ward. If he's in New York, I mean, the Bridget Kelly's still here. Welcome, everyone, to a very special evening celebrating the dedicated work of Gemma Butler and the opening of your new Hamilton Art Pavilion. <laughs> Juliet's gonna be fine, but Andrew needs to stay with her. You should move away from the window. Why? I'm here to celebrate my wife's work. I can stand wherever I want. Henry, how much have you had to drink? Not enough.
It's okay. We're gonna get you to the hospital. My head is pounding. You fainted. You're pretty hard against the pavement. It's probably gonna hurt for a while. Come on, Martin, one of many New York Let's go. Excuse me. I want to say thank you. The paramedics told me you helped my wife. Yeah. No big deal. I just want to say I really appreciate it. Okay. Okay. How are you feeling? I've been better. How's Juliet? She's at home. Grounded. Most likely till she's 50. <laughs> Doctors want to check on the baby. What? Hey, don't worry. It's just a precaution. They don't suspect anything, but they feel safer if they checked. Andrew, I don't think it's... What? I, I just... It's been such a long... You know, Shiv, this is crazy. I know you're feeling out of it, but to refuse an ultrasound after a concussion, that's just insanity. Well, I, I didn't mean it like that. Then I... don't fight it, please. <laughs> Do as the doctor says. This is our baby. Jim's car. Is there anything left behind? Just some blood. Her blood? No, mine. From when she hit me. Thank God you found it. Thank Bridget. She's still the only suspect in Jim's disappearance. They'll never connect it to me. And everyone still thinks Bridget is me? Don't worry, Siobhan. Jim never had a chance to tell anyone. Jim the butler? Next move. 